Hello. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. It sounds so close to McDonald's. I'm hating it. Um, it's me, your girl, Damona, a.k.a. Don't Call Me White Girl, a.k.a. Mona, a.k.a. Fat Cat. And I'm here with Phelps. Hugo, the one and only. And to the lady that asked me why they call him Phelps is because he swims through this pussy, bitch. Mm. Hey, Phelps. So, You look cute with your Patagonia on. Thank you. Appreciate it. Did I pronounce it right? It's late on. He don't know how to pronounce it either. Patagonia, Gonia, which one is it, Dre? Dre's here. I don't know. Woo-woo. Fresh off the L.A. plane, baby. <laughs> How was L.A.? It was a great time. It's amazing. Balls is always amazing in L.A. I follow Dre and I watch him and his wife bike ride. That was lit. <laughs> Making my way downtown <laughs> like a basket. It's like, oh, this is the cutest couple ever. Um, I like L.A. Shout out to L.A. Shout out to all y'all over there. Um, I'm coming soon. Yes, um, we are. You heard we will be there soon. So if it's something that you want me to taste. Some kind of soul food, maybe pho, sushi, dick, whatever. Mm. Being me, I'm open to try new things. She, um, she gonna be shut up. <laughs> um, still have all ten of my nails for the motherfucking haters in the back. Boom, we gotta get right into it. Number one, somebody fucked up last week, and that was me, or the week before. I came here and said that Andrew Tate was swatted. And then we got in a big conversation about swatting. You remember? Yeah. And we talked about how da 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 um, And the crazy thing about it is that um, me being a part of it, like what I do now, like I see things from a different angles, so like from media angles, how they spend shit, how they play shit and publicists or whatever. And the way Andrew Tate spent his situation, guess who fell for hook, line, and sinker? <laughs> me. Miss, you can't play me. He comes out with this video. It seems so serious, right? Mm. And his previous videos with him, like, you know, a while back saying the things they do to you when you're, like, telling when the they, truth. Yeah, he was alluding to how they were trying to silence him. Right. Yeah, I seen and that. And when they do it in the list. But mind you, it's a really good documentary. Let me make sure I got my name, my um, the name of it correctly. On the Vice Channel, um, it's called... The Dangerous Rise of Andrew Tate. Watch it. Is this my camera, the first one? Yep. The Dangerous Rise of Andrew Tate. Now, watch it for a couple different reasons. If you don't want to watch it because he's a misogynist, rapist, fine. But the way that nigga came up on the internet, creators, okay? The way that he has this system of, like, this legion of fans that are, like, kind of, they're not pressured, but they're definitely rewarded for, like, um, reposting stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, he even has this like college where you can learn how to be a real man, get some real nuts. <laughs> um, and in that, like if you if you get somebody else to subscribe, you get half of their subscription price. Turn. That's a hell of an incentive. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Um, at the end of the day, Andrew Tate, like a lot of fucking, what would you call him? Um, I mean, he is a narcissist, but he's like a, like Jim Jones, you know, like real full of himself, a sociopath or whatever. Mm-hmm. A lot of people like that, they're good at knowing who to seek out to manipulate and who are the weak ones. The guys that are buying these tickets to go to these um, classes, how to be a real man, they're weak ass niggas in the beginning. You know what yeah. I mean? No man with confidence and that gets pussy and does his own push ups without somebody screaming in his face will need to go to fucking Romania or wherever the fuck you have to go to become a real man. It's crazy, but it, it's a lot of people that like follow this nigga had no clue. See, I kind of took him for a joke, like a novelty act, like a lot of these internet niggas. Mm-hmm. Um, the documentary just goes into how many men are really following him, the dangers of the stuff, of course, the stuff that he's preaching. But um, besides that, audio recording came out where he's just blatantly saying, I don't know why I meet you. I don't know why I like this so much. The R word. I don't know if we can say that. Can we say it? Nah. Okay. Um, for people at home. Can you read word? Can you read lips? I learned in prison. You violated. Okay, you cannot. What the fuck is that on the list? You can't even word bad words. You say he violated. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Violated, came in the door without no invite, and ain't leave when you ask him to go. You know what I'm talking about, ladies. But um, straight like that, he's like, I don't know why I liked it so much. The fact that you didn't like it made me like it more. 
Um, the fact that you was in pain made me like, I mean, he's a he's a creep. Yeah, that's wow. sick. Yeah, and it's not, it's more than one girl. Um, that's why he was under investigation. That's why he went to jail. He was not swatted. The video that was put out and the other videos that put out that are just coming through your algorithm, that's the purpose of it, and it worked. This is proof. I'm not somebody that believe a lot of things I hear on the internet. Mm -hmm. I'm somebody that did just watch a documentary about swatting last year. I want y'all to pay attention to this. Pay attention to what goes into a person not knowing what the fuck they're talking about, right? So I, I watched a documentary about swatting before. I heard the word swatting again, and it happened to him after seeing a video of him saying, they're going to do this in a month to me. Boom. That's the pot, the mixture to believe some shit. How did I not believe it? Because I Googled it. <laughs> I just did a little research. Instead of just taking the information that was fed to me online, I looked into it. Mm -hmm. So you, Shaquita, before you get on the internet and write a whole fucking paragraph in an argument, why don't you look into it, babe? It was on a blog somewhere, and I said that the clip that, that was out uh, with him talking because of course the girl you don't hear anything and it could sound like it's being pitched together also it's so violent it's so foul it's so stupid to say stuff like that out loud that I'm thinking this can't be real yeah. that's another thing and I'm getting into this because it's the cancel culture thing like you know how everybody is now it's like I don't get it sometimes we, we lost all the grace you give people god damn it we forgot all about the slow motherfuckers I know so many slow people you know what I mean you a little slow you might not get it as quick as the next motherfucker. Now somebody on the internet saying, um, you're just as worse as the take the coochie person. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. I yeah, said yeah, yeah. on that post, right, I say, listen, they posted the audio clippings. And um, this is what got me into figuring out what really was going on. And audio clippings were so vile. They sound so crazy. And I'm like, it was on the Neighborhood Talk. Shout out to Neighborhood Talk. Shout out to Kyle. Um... I'm like, this is, this is, I said, I don't like this guy. I'm not a fan of this guy, but this sounds strange. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just off of that, 30 comments, I knew I never liked you in the beginning. I have, I, this girl been talking stupid for a while now. <laughs> Unfo hashtag unfollow. I thought I liked you. To, one or two was like, no, Mona, this is real. Look at this website. But probably a fan of mine, somebody really fuck with me or whatever. That, but just in that moment is exactly what I've been trying to, fucking preach to y'all for the longest you have to have a certain amount of grace with people why the fuck an owner of a vagina pretty one at that damn me um why the fuck would i be like pro somebody rape or something? you know what i mean do i look like a fucking andrew tate fan to you bitch but i am somebody that i don't really trust the government like that or the police so somebody going to jail is not the line the click you know like that's not the thing that does it oh he had to be you know what i mean at least you got to go through the court process but no you niggas don't believe in the court process you niggas hold judge and jury on the internet streets and a motherfucker be guilty the day you read the story somewhere but andrew tate seems pretty guilty watch the documentary um it's pretty horrible um he's filthy stinky rich and um he does what a lot of people a lot of men do when they're filthy stinky rich and that's like just really, really do fucked up shit to the opposite sex. Like in the documentaries, a bunch of like model looking kind of girls getting coffee, sweeping. And every time the guy, I love Vice. I love the host they had. They had the perfect host go over there. Real mild man, a cool white boy. Like he just smoked two joints. This motherfucker hype up, walking mm -hmm. around with a sword. He said, why? Walk around with a sword. I think every man should walk around with a sword in his home. Mm -hmm. And it's like, why, nigga? But that's why his boy head ass is going to jail. Um... The host, when he would speak to the girls, they would be like, they weren't allowed to talk. Like, obviously, they've been told, you can't talk. Look, and then Andrew would say, yo, don't talk to them. That's not why they're here. He was pimping. Baby, if you spell pimping with an R, it's not, it's the other pimping. I mean, I'm not saying he wasn't violating. But he's a violator. So, I mean, when you watch it, then you'll see. There's not a woman get, coming around home being treated nicely. Nowhere. You know what I mean? So, and almost like a cult. Almost. Like a cult. It's very cultish. Um, but on the men's side, the women just seem like they're being just just assaulted. They're just, they, he's winning. The one, a lot of the girls' stories remember, mirror each other where he's giving you this, look, I can make you some money. Mind you, he's already, already rich. We can get some money fucking with this webcam, right? And after we fuck with the webcam, we get some paper. You know, I'll show you da 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 blah, blah. But the first day, five bottles of wine. Because you're already nervous. You never did it before. But then it's like, let me get you drunk. That's sign one. Because yeah. it's one thing when a person says to you, calm down. He's going to give you a glass of wine. 
couple puffs of the weed. Motherfucker buy five bottles. He's trying to get you blitz. He don't want you to know what's going on. He don't want you to have any of your good sense to make the right decision in these moments. One girl said they just talking first meet 20 minutes. He punch her in the arm. Bop. Like Frogger. Yeah. Like the, he's a freak. So I just wanted to come on here and say this. That's the thing about me. I have no problem saying when I'm wrong, Z's. You know what I mean, Phelps? You know how it is. Except for when I'm arguing with you because I'm never <laughs> wrong about that. But, um, yeah, Andrew Tate's a freak. Watch the documentary. If you could take yourself out of the horribleness of it, the way he manipulated the internet was pretty impressive. I can't hold you. Like, it was crazy. You know what I mean? He got banned off of Instagram and then came back on Instagram and social media with, like, emojis over his head, a million followers. Like, that's how hard they roll on that joint. Mm. And when you walk into the, this huge house, this motherfucker sitting in front of a thousand screens. Like, they not playing. This is the whole point. You know mm. what I mean? Um... So he's going to jail, whatevs. Also, I was wrong about something else. I was wrong about something that I've talked about on this podcast a thousand times. You ain't talk about this last week? I think you talked about this already if we're talking about the same yeah, thing. Yeah, she did it already. Don't y'all tell me what I talked about when I did it. Because <laughs> we know what you're about to talk about. <laughs> I don't care. Every time I brought up the light-skinned, dark-skinned thing, Okay, both of these niggas' heads went back. I don't give a fuck. Take a smoke break. <laughs> Every time we talk about the light skin, dark skin thing, right? I've said the same thing over and over, which is um, I understand as a darker person in this country, you go through more than what other people go through. Although, why does that take away what I went through in my life? Okay. I would say that, and I would have real live fans, people that support me, fuck with me, write me think pieces, curse me the fuck out, scream, tell me my birds are violent and it's dangerous or whatever, whatever. One of you, or at some point, I Google what colorism means, right? And there's impossible that I've ever went through colorism. I don't think that I said that. I don't think that I've ever said, well, I experienced colorism. What I used to say was, that doesn't take away from my experience. But my experience is bullying, Dre. Okay? That's what I want to put out there. I was bullied. I never experienced colorism. I don't think that I ever did say that I experienced colorism. It doesn't matter. I need to put that out there for the 9 9 and the 2000. Um, it frustrates me when I see people say like reverse colorism. There's no such thing. Saying stuff like that is like saying all lives matter. And we all know how dangerous that is, right? Because you remember the all lives matter speech, how you break that down. Like, okay, it's a, it's a street full of homes, right? One house is on fire, right? Hey, let's get this house. Let's get the fire put out. Make sure nobody's in there. Make sure everybody's safe, right? And then somebody walks up and says, what about the rest of these houses? We don't know what's going on there. Just because it's not smoke doesn't mean somebody's not dying, you know? That doesn't make any sense, does it, Dre? The same people that say all lives matter are the same people that support breast cancer over any other type of cancer. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It's the same exact thing. Uh -huh. It's like if you support breast cancer, you support breast cancer because maybe that's close to your heart. Maybe you had it. Maybe your mom had it and experienced it. So that's why you support it. But if I say all cancer matter while you supporting breast cancer, you look at me crazy. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. It's the same exact thing. Uh -huh. But the thing about the all lives matter thing, and th listen, I always say this, when all lives matter, that people first started saying that, you would see black people say it, right? Mm -hmm. Good Christian folk. I don't think that those people understood how stupid that was at that moment. All they knew is that they love white people and black people the same, and they feel like everybody should be safe. But then after a certain point, everybody knew that all lives matter was just straight. Fuck y'all. You're not about to make it about y'all. That is a racist thing. Mm -hmm. Once we got there, then it's like, you know, when you say it now, you're a racist for saying it. It's, it's no way really around it. It's not the all lives matter thing for me says more about the person saying it than anything. Like there's a reason why you're saying it. There's a reason why you're going out your way to not say what we're saying. Right. So we're saying black lives matter. That's the reason why you just can't say that. And you keep saying all lives matter. Right. Or when you spin it to blue lives matter, they've always mattered. Blue lives have always mattered. All lives have always mattered. Black lives was, was the ones that wasn't mattering. And that's why we're on this this movement. I think a lot of people get this shit twisted. And I really hate that. The fact that um that it's a little shadiness within the group and people take their money or whatever that takes away from it. It's not. It's the, the, the mission is still the mission, motherfucker. Voicing, speaking out. I just watched. Um, I just watched a high speed chase, right, with a black guy with two children in the back, two black kids, and one of the kids was twelve years old, and they're pulled over by Georgia State Police, right, and they're surrounded. The car is surrounded, and um, 
it's a bunch of lights and all that, and they're debating because the guy, the driver is like, no, y'all can't do that. It's illegal. We'll call the captain, you know. And in the midst of that, he pulls the fuck off. They chase him, and then they do the pit maneuver. They smack the back of the car. It spins out. They kill that little boy in the back. Hmm. And then they say, it wasn't it wasn't light enough. We didn't know who was in the car. And then they say, anybody in this room that's listening to this podcast, is watching this podcast, no goddamn well when you get pulled over. The first thing they do at night is put that light on your motherfucking face. Hmm. Sometimes they don't even take it off you. When did this silly nigga here put this um, thing on his face? Why didn't you say anything? Take that shit off, Kodak. I hope so. That's not cute with them glasses. I don't like that. You gotta repeat yourself. A nigga, do how to deal with it. What the fuck? Well, this is me dealing with it. I had a crazy don't interaction take it off, then. with the police over the weekend. What happened? Well, first, to your point, I completely agree. I don't get why people who say black lives don't ma- black lives matter, they don't get it. It's like it reminds me of like, don't you know you go in a place and there's like a cra- crazy ass rule? And you like, why is that even a rule? But you realize that they made it a rule because somebody actually did that right, shit. Right. And it's like the fact that we have to say black lives matter. It's crazy. It's a reason for mm-hmm. that. And it's crazy. Like we don't have to say white lives matter because they always matter. Mm-hmm. They've always been a treated fairly. A lot. Uh-huh. More than probably they, you know. Uh-huh. That's uh-huh. Another, that's <laughs> another day. But what else? Yeah. Um, but no, nah, I had an interaction. So I drove down. My great grandmother passed and I drove down a uh, Florida. I'm sorry about your grandmother. Thank you. Um, she lived to be 95, 96, so she lived like That's a full a life. Um, but we drove down to Jacksonville because the flights were crazy. But we had to drive through South Carolina. First, I got pulled over going down and pulled over of going back. Of course you did. And it's just in South Carolina? Just in South Carolina. Just in that state. And the way going down was wild. So, like, I get pulled over. Cop comes to the window. It's like, I see your license. And my aunt was like, well, you know, it's re- the rental's registered in my name. Do you want to see my license? He was like, no, no, no. I just want to see his license. Give me a black one at the front of the window. I was driving. <laughs> I was in the car with my aunt and uncle. They're, you know, older, 60s. And basically, he looked at it, was like, all right, you got the registration, gave him that. And then he was like, can you come sit in the passenger seat? Of what? The cop car? Of the cop car. For what, Dre? So I looked, and I was like. Hell no. I looked at my aunt. And he was like, I just want to tell you about what you, like, t- break down what happened and stuff like that. Can you come and sit in the passenger seat? Is it cold? So, like, why can't we talk right nah. here in front of my aunt? Yeah, so, basically, what? my aunt was like, just go ahead. So, I went. Oh, no. And I sat in the passenger <laughs> seat. <laughs> and, you me, and basically, he was sitting there talking to me. And then he was like, yeah, you know, I, you know, I have. First, he asked me, he was like, you know, where are you guys going? You know, whatever. I told him for the funeral. And then he was like, were you nervous to come back to the car? And I was like, yeah. Like, this, I ain't never had this it's happen. What questions right? is these? And then he Ray, was, is this a white man? Yeah, of course. Right. And then he was just like, um, well, I pulled you over because uh, in the state of South Carolina, the left lane is for passing and not for riding in or something like that. So he was like, you were riding in the left lane and it's meant for passing because that slows down traffic if you ride in that lane. And then he said, when I was trying to drive up to you, I couldn't catch up to you, so I know you were going about 85, which is 15 over, but I'm not going to write you a ticket for that. I'm not going to write you a ticket for that. And then he goes to explain. It, baby. That's exactly, yeah. you can't. So then he goes to explain that, you know, he likes to get people in the passenger seat and talk to them because then he gets to fill out, like, you know, who they are and what they're about, that he stopped somebody who had heroin yeah, uh, recently and, and that he stopped uh, the people be trafficking and stuff yeah. like that. Oh. He said, and he like, f- I feel like he pulled Bob. you in the car so he could sniff you out. Yeah, that's that's all it was. I don't smell no Because weed. I had, I, I had, like, well, no, but then when everything came back, I was clear. He was like, I'm just letting you know, I do smell a little marijuana. See, like what I told him. But I'm not, I'm going to let you go the and I'm not going to right. do no smoking. Right. Like There's what? Really no, not to be all, but nobody smokes me in the corner, not even auntie, right? No. So it's made up. It's a yeah. lie. So I'm just like, <laughs> like it ain't. See no, what I mean? I was like, I don't even smoke, but okay. But the thing is that I always I thought about that and all the stuff that happens with like during Black Lives Matter and stuff like that. And I'm like, all right, the goal is always to get home. It's not to go back and forth. But I feel like I was getting baited. Like, well, if I was right. like, I'm not going to the car. Like, no. Like, why would I go to the car? You know what I'm saying? That Imagine you want you, that reaction out of me. You know this, what I'm saying? And this is the thing. And this is why Black Lives Matter. Everybody is not as intelligent as you or m- mild-mannered or has a certain amount yeah. of control. Me and you have been friends for over a year now. I ain't seen you lose your temper yet. Has shit happened? 
Mm-hmm. I know for a fact you pissed the fuck off, but you don't talk to me certain ways. You don't let me feel it in that way. Mm-hmm. You know, you carry yourself with a certain amount of respect. Therefore, you respect the people around you. You ain't gonna on the phone hollering and screaming, cussing at no motherfucker that you barely know, sweating and spitting on no phone, sounding fucking crazy about shit you really don't know nothing about. <laughs> Call the motherfuckers names. Mm-hmm. You don't do shit like that because you got good sense. You was raised well. <laughs> it ain't just for pictures. That's who you are as a person, mm. not just with a gram. Yeah. You know what I mean? Agreed. Anyway, <laughs> um, the fuck was I talking about? He was trying to bait me. And Bottom line, so goal. imagine a guy that is a little slow. Yeah. Imagine a guy that's paranoid. Imagine a guy that's bipolar and took his medicine in two days. Imagine a guy that just had a horrible day and caught his girlfriend sucking a dick. Mm. Right? That's the thing that people don't count for. Everybody, Dre is above average. You're not average, you're above average. Because the average Joe Blow Smoke would have cussed me out already. That's just what it is. And that's off my dealings with him. You understand what I'm saying? Switch swap. He would be cussing me the fuck out if it was that type of vibe. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. If I was, a, if you was the cop. No, if in our in our roles, Dre was who you are, and uh-huh. you were oh, who Dre are. Uh-huh. You the nigga in the van with the cameras in the van, yeah, asking yeah, me for twenty yeah. minutes, get the fuck in this car because I gotta be here and I already scheduled this. Yeah, I get in the car. Dre didn't already moved it around. What the fuck we gonna do? You understand what I'm saying? And it's been times where you say, yo, I need to talk to you, where, you, where you're laying that out. Under the, that's not average. That's why I tell you so much about who you are because it's something that you you should hold your head because it's, it's not mm-hmm. it's not something that you see a lot. Did I take anything away from this brother that'll cuss me the fuck out? No. But we just talking about what it is. Then on top of everything, it is your right to say no. And you're not wrong for saying no, I'm not going to bed, but it could have cost you your life. That's a fact. You could have exactly. got your ass whooped in front of your motherfucking aunt for exercising your right as a human. And that's why we say Black Lives Matter, because this is our day to day. So while you, Mr. White Man, are driving to work, going to work, going to lunch, getting off, going home, making a legal left, turn, park here, spit, take a brew uh, on the wheel, your life is completely different. This nigga can't even drive his old aunt and uncle. Yeah. Not no young people playing hip hop. They listen to jazz and them motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> and he can't take them across that road without being pulled over not once but twice, both ways. Trafficking? Motherfucker ain't never been to jail or touch a drug. And that's why we say Black Lives Matter. And so it frustrates me and it's like, you know, it's just. Well, it's, he gave you like a warning ticket or something. There's no ticket. Both what, for ways, what? I got one. I didn't do nothing. I'm gonna say, what it was the warning for? There nothing happened. They, you know, they give you a written warning so they can put you in the system. They yeah. do, but what would the warning be though? What I did got you a do? Warning oh, the, for, for a stop. Lane. For a stop, but I, I mean, they couldn't. have gave me a ticket if and they then wanted to. They pulled you the second time. It was the same thing. Tell like was it's a rental yeah it has nothing to do with you yeah, yeah. but i mean at least they tell like you that's that the makes to pull sense somebody and it yeah. wasn't out it just the lights weren't on but what but. you need to know is that a white boy can drive with a tail light missing and smooth sailing yeah. motherfucker might pull up to them and go your tail lights out bud just wanted to let just you know just wanted to let you know you see yeah. the fucking packer game I, go packers yeah that's how it is <laughs> you know what i mean that's just what it is and it's like we know that to be our reality by 20, I had already seen somebody beat by the cops. I knew of a person being shot by the cops. My aunt got her ass by the cops. She's 56 years old, ripped out the door, whooped her ass. I remember her chicken flew in the sky. Was she talking shit? Yeah, did she try to get her ass whooped? No, that's our reality. It's different. We from Philadelphia. Philadelphia police are vicious. Yeah. And they're historically racist as a motherfucker. Sidebar, free Mumia. Yeah. Free Mumia. I'll tell you about Mumia. You mm-hmm. know about Mumia? Mm-hmm. This is a guy who got pulled over, digging him and his brother. They're getting roughed up. Philadelphia was like infamously racist. 80s, not like real, real bad. And even now, we have a new DA named Larry Krasner. That's most of his job is just releasing people that in 10, 20, 15 years of prison because these detectives are just putting stories together, locking yeah. niggas up throughout the 90s, early 2000s. I mean, it's crazy. One of them just got murdered at a funeral. Isn't that weird? Mm-hmm. He does 20 years by mistake. They let him go. I saw that. I saw that. And they killed him. I think I saw that on Neighborhood Talk too. He was from, he said, Pennsylvania, you know that's some Philly shit. Come on. Philly cops. Huh? Cops violated me. They definitely was Philly cops. You got violated by police recently? No. I okay, know. I was okay. young. I was young. Like okay. 21. Did you get your ass whooped or just roughed up? Roughed up. They ain't mm. whooped my ass, but they roughed me up. Nightstick. Yeah. Nigga stick. That's one thing I learned from. They hit me. you with that? Yeah. What man. part of your body? The back of my neck. Damn, you got hit with a uh, nigga whacker with a um. That's what we call them in Philly, nigga whackers. Damn, yeah, nigga be cool stick. Yeah, nigga relax. 
one thing I learned with talking to a cop, he told me that they're they're allowed to like <laughs> that's a bad joke. They're allowed to elevate one level up. Is basically, still there? I think it's still there. This nigga, I'm gonna score. It's a nigga that scored it, dear nigga. Oh <laughs> 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 I remember as a kid finding a picture in a shoebox of my father, his eye closed shut, lip horrible. And I was so upset. What happened? The 35th District whooped his ass. The 35th District, Mm. I think out of all the districts in Philadelphia, have had more police officers fired and arrested for like bad shit. But I mean, I have literally known my father to physically fight the police probably like five times. Do they always fight? Because I said, I talked to a DC police officer one time and he was like, a lot of people don't know that as police officers, they're legally. I guess able to like one up like if you throw hands they don't gotta throw hands with you they can pull yeah, they out can a shoot. taser yeah, or, or whatever yeah, yeah. but if you pull out a weapon then they can't shoot you if you throw hands but shit, they they're not supposed to like on, but I'm just saying if you pull out like a a, a bat or something you like that anything, then they can yeah. reach out for a gun because then they they don't they they can legally they don't gotta tussle with you Cause mm-hmm. I think some people think you could just go up to them and start fighting and they gotta throw hands like nah but they they, do that. I, I don't even know. I, no shade, but I don't know nobody even think no shit like that. And the thing about it is, um, they respond with the gun to ag- aggression. Yeah. Like once the nigga buck, the gun's coming out. You yeah. know what I mean? And that's the crazy part. Not even buck. Once he says no, roll down your window. No, some of them just reach, and that's the crazy yeah. part. Um, my son's father is big and dark. That's the only way you can describe this nigga. Never been in trouble. No record, nothing. We have opposite, and um, we got pulled over. And um, I remember I gave like a, a childhood friend a ride, um, like literally on some random shit. We just so happened to be where she was. She needed a ride. They didn't know each other. We get pulled over. I don't know if it's because of her or what, but they black. And that's why when I said white or black, and you go white, of course. My experience, black cops are worse. Period. That's who fucked me up. I had a bad, I had <laughs> a bad experience did. with a black cop too. My, black cops in my the experience, worst. the and worst Boston. would be black female. Then white male, then black male, and then because I ain't going front, I've had some cool black cops or whatever. But for the most part, black female worse, white male, they, or black female, white male are neck and neck. And I'm also when I say cops, I talk about COs too. So my shit is a little different. I'm about to say yeah, because I'm a jail. I'm about bitch. to say you probably talk about the female cops, black female cops from a jail thing because there don't be a lot of black female cops on the beat like that. I feel like I, I no, nah, I've you. had nasty interaction with black female cops on the beat. But listen, pull this over. Um, and he got braids, and people don't. And when I say this, I'm not saying this off of my, but I'm saying off of them. Yeah, they respect the clean cut more. You know what yeah, I mean? Clean true. cut. You know, um, but this nigga is the cleanest cuttest guy in the world. For the love of God, around the time he was trying to get an Amtrak police job, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, pulled him out, and I never forget the cop and him were like the same complexion, and it was already going through my head. Like, this doesn't matter. This is a white man, right? And and to me, I almost said his name, but to me, let's call him Roger. Roger was just saying yes too much. You know what I mean? I'd rather you say nothing. Just, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? I have a friend, every time we get pulled over, he wouldn't say anything. Like, they will always have to physically, mm-hmm. he would be in a pasture and they'd be, he'd just be in the front line. And sometimes they'd just say, fuck it, let it go. Because it's <laughs> like, I'm not going to go there with this, but he's blind. Deaf, dumb, blind, retarded. I can't hear nothing. Um, either way, um, he asked him, can you get out the car? He gets out the car. Can I search through the car, go through the car? He like, there's nothing in it. Go here. I wouldn't even say yes, yes, because I know you don't smell weed. This boy don't smell. He wa- mm-hmm. Roger's type that got the towels laid on the seats. He's fucking, you know oh, what I mean? Yeah. He's crazy about stuff. You know, it doesn't smell like anything in here. Last straw. He says, can you put your, can you just let me put you in some cuffs because... I said, fuck no. From the because I was in the said, bathroom. Can you so, just let- he said, You're a big guy, bro. And he said, My partners are getting a little nervous. Let me just put you some cuffs so everybody nervous. can feel more comfortable. I said, fuck no, from the passenger. <laughs> and mind you, normally I'm not that kind of person yeah. because I have a jacket and because I get a little nervous but or whatever. Yeah. This my nigga, this nigga working aim. That's my nigga. We getting married. Get your hands off of him. Yeah, can I put you in fuck the handcuffs? No, I opened that door. He said, "Ma'am, this is a um, formal investigation." Mister, I said, "Fuck no!" I said, "The only way you're going to cuffs is if y'all locking them the fuck up." Fuck no, fuck no. I was saying fuck no to the point that it was like, and of course, Roger said, "Man, are you serious?" And he let him. It's like he let so him for those seconds. Oh yeah, I wouldn't do think that. Think about this, mind you. They 
crazy deep. This is this is NC. This is Newcastle County. You know they the worst. Newcastle County police in Delaware are the worst. Um, and we're over like um Brown Town area, right? We mm-hmm. in the right spot. These motherfuckers really this state thing, you know, like Ellsworth type of vibe, right? And um, I just said just, and I told him the whole way home because I mean we have different experiences. We have. Different, I said, yo. The job do you, you apply for? Your colleagues, the references that you use, you whip around past you in cuffs. That makes no fucking sense. It, it, it's ridiculous, you know. I understand why you would say yes, but motherfucker, fuck no. You hear me saying fuck no, fuck no, you know. Um, it was crazy. She ended up having like a capius, and they arrested her. You know what I mean? And that was that. But it's just like. That's just how we, that's just how our shit is. You know, I was in, I'm just my last cop story. I was in, um, in, 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 he used to be up Elkton all the time. So he used to tell me they're really racist up there. Mm-hmm. And I never had an issue with Elkton. Like I, something I did was like across the state line, Elkton, Maryland. And I would mm-hmm. go through there, here, there real fast. I go to Dunkin' Donuts and I'm on live on Instagram like this. And I kid you not, y'all know I don't pay attention. When I lift back up, I turn, and he's at the window, and there's 10 of these niggas around the car. I never peeped. Yeah. Ambulance. He said, we thought that you OD because a lot of mixed girls up here do heroin. I swear to God. Where was you at? I was on, um, I guess when 40 turns into whatever it turns into. You know what I mean? Basically, that exit we get off before the toll, where it's like Cracker Barrel and all that. If you keep going down, it's like a Dunkin' Donuts yeah. and this and that. I was in that parking lot. And at that time, it must have been a daycare or something around there because I would go to Dunkin' Donuts often. I would go live. But I was the way I was sitting, my head is like this. But I'm live because I remember when that first happened, the first thing I do is get off because I'm thinking they about to lock me up and yeah, I don't want everybody to see it on social media. Yeah. I should have left that shit on because it was crazy. He said, I thought you, oh, I thought you OD'd. I'm sorry, I did have a curly fro. That means you mixed. <laughs> and he said, a lot of mixed girls up here on heroin. We got them old dear. Up in the street. Listen, don't don't you dare. This is a precaution. We're trying to help you. Because I was like, what the fuck you mean? I said, I said, I'm not mixed. And then we kind of froze for a while. And I think he knew that he fucked up. And then he just kind of like backed up. And I'm like, you know, I'm live. I'm live as a hundred thousand. He just like, and everybody left. Hmm. You know a lot of mixed girls OD up in there. <laughs> Yo, I am. You know what's fuck? no no funny shit though. I understand when he talking about girls that complexion be OD, and I ain't gonna lie. Like it was <laughs> it was a it was a good stereotype. I just I didn't want to like you feel this me. This boy is crazy. Leave it to Phelps. Leave it to Phelps to text me. Some I want to say it. Um, <laughs> it's cold outside. I'm not gonna say it because we're getting along. But don't um, do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. My heart dropped. Like, you know, it's just like, yo, that's what I'm saying. It's just, yo, I'm the bitch that when the guy's getting, like, roughed up by the cops or getting put down, I roll up and go, you all right? I'm that bitch. Or I might not even be recording, but I'll go. You know, because, like, let you motherfuckers know. Like, yo, we out here, motherfucker. And that was the beauty in that horrible time of niggas getting killed in front of, you know, cameras and stuff. It wasn't new. It was just paid attention to by media. It was just reported. Yeah. You know how many times? Philadelphia is a large city. It's a huge city. We got that Citizens app. If you sit and watch it, if you had a scanner, it is murderous, crazy, mm-hmm. psycho shit happening every fucking second on a second. When you go to jail, and you that's one thing about jail that it did do for me. I understand how blessed I was, Dre. Like, damn, I ain't have it bad. These motherfuckers had it rough, mm. right? But people be going through some shit. Motherfuckers, cause some people gotta wake up and figure out how they gonna do it all day. Eat, sleep, shit, and they nine. So it's like, yo, mm-hmm. it's not that this stuff is new, or it's, cause I think some people think that that it was this wave of just all this cop cops been killing nah, niggas yeah. and are gonna continue Forever, to kill niggas yeah. until the police are defunded. I am a believer in defunding the police. I know it sounds far fetched. I know it seems unbelievable. Who you gonna call? What that guy down south say? You want to talk about the police? Next time you're in trouble, call a crackhead. And it was all funny, and you know, but it's like, bro, you don't call the cops and have a fear of maybe getting shot and they get this shit wrong. Yeah, I do. Yeah. 
shop owners calling, getting robbed and killed. They killed the nigga that owned his store when they came, when he called about a burglar or a motherfucker. They killed the nigga that owned the store. They're stupid. At the end of the day, the things that had to be done to fix the police are, are, are impossible. Mm -hmm. It is rotted to the core. You have to cut the cancer out. You got to get rid of it. The Klan, a lot of those uh, racist Nazi groups, they taught their young people, go become police and parole officers, whatever. That shit is deeply rooted mm -hmm. with racism. And worse come the worst, you got Billy Bob, great person, Christian guy, raised not to see color, mother and dad just like it. He goes to job and, and he notices that Timmy, his partner and superior, is smacking the shit out of Mexicans and black people. When he tells them they put shit in his locker, you know what I be... When they tell him, when he tells, they put shit in his locker, they cut his hours, they give him the bad shift. How the fuck do you stand up against a whole station of racist motherfuckers or people that are complacent and they're just not going... You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's why you have to get rid of that shit from the rooter to the motherfucking tutor, nigga. The rooter to the tutor. I, I should have became a cop. I be, like I be thinking day cop about took drugs um, and shit from my niggas. neighbor, right? He was like... Um, he it's probably was... I don't know, seven or eight years younger than me, maybe. And his dad was a cop. He came to my door and knocked one day. You feel? You know, it's always going to be a little hint of, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this nigga had like a paper in his hand. I'm like, oh, he, he asked me to like be like his reference. This nigga was applying to be a police officer. <laughs> The greatest so thing about if, Phelps is that he lasted his if own I buy, I just like I be in I, I be seeing him. Like I seen him uh today because I forgot. I, so but he got I, hired? He, he he looked like he got like a squad car or something, but in my mind I'm just like white boy? Yeah. Oh, but he looked like he one of them, but I'm just like, boy, I hope you ain't one of them. You yeah, know listen. what I mean? Cause his dad was kinda cool. Like you feel me? I don't know what I could say and I said, but I remember knowing a nigga that used to sell weed that became a cop and he's a dickhead now. If you think I'm talking about you, I am, brother. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. Don't get me. You got don't get me, got me, don't get me good. Um, but no, like, you know, I you know, fuck the police coming straight from the underground. Young bitch got it bad cause I'm brown. Straight up. Damn. All right. Um, but yeah, I had to correct myself with that. I had to correct myself with the Andrew Tate thing. Um, I love you black people. We have to get together. Colorism doesn't just affect us blacks. It um uh, affects a lot of races, you and know. Black people allow us to talk about us. Can't nobody else do it, nigga. We gotta oh, do please. it. Please, I hate that. I hate when y'all let the other people come in and say stuff. Shut the fuck up. We got company over here. Yeah. You don't fight with your cousins and then when it's strangers in the house. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. You know, that shit is so old, it's just I don't know, but I I'm a positive person. I see the day when we get together, baby. When we get together, there's no stopping us. Why, as I'm saying this, is ain't no mountain high enough. It's playing in the background. Black power. All right. Um, I, was, I was hearing public enemy. I did that first. There you go. There you go. That's why I like you a little bit. <laughs> um, real quick, I had a dark side of the DM that correlated with this but whatever real fast i have a question to the men and y'all need to answer in the comments are you scared the first night is there pressure the first night you fuck her the first time you, you nail her to the cross are you scared that first night is there pressure to perform um i feel like with women it's not i feel like with women i'm talking about black women i speak for me i don't know nothing about nothing else with us we're very much so given Go ahead and take this. Go ahead and take this little bit of pussy real quick. For real. You know what I mean? Here, go go ahead and get him. You know what I mean? Can I get a plate? It ain't much. Take that little corner mashed potatoes in one yeah. way. You know what I mean? That's how we do. Let me give you this little bit of coochie. We're not giving you the coochie. You know what I'm saying? Almost like we're giving job interview pussy. But after a couple dates, couple gifts, and I like you, now I'm giving you orientation, pussy, because I know I got the gig. You know what I'm saying? But with men, it's reverse. So I feel like with men, you're kind of expected to do, you know, you know, slam, real me in, slam baby. dunking that pussy. All off right, the give it. You know how we do. Um, but is it is it a lot of pressure? I've had sex with people, and they're like, like my my probably my best sexual relationship ever. I miss you. I love you. I miss you. I love you. Um. He, I remember him telling me like, yo, that first night we had sex, I, I didn't think, that day I woke up never thinking that I was going, you know what I mean? And even on the way 
to going somewhere to lay down the telly. <laughs> you know how I get down. <laughs> 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 well, let me hang it down, yo, buddy. <laughs> Even on the way to the telly, he like, damn, what she just trying to chill? You know what I mean? Uh, we too new to go to the crib, whatever. Hey, yeah, I got a man. You know how I get. <laughs> All right, um, let me get serious. Um, let me check my files. Hold up. Yeah. So he said that it was like, like it was the whole time was like, don't come, don't come, don't come, because he was mm -hmm. so like excited, hyped that he got me, surprised that it was like that or whatever. But we had like a ten year age difference. We had a lot of different things going on. For regular Douglas Schmegler, grown man, confident, you got your shit going, you got what you got, you like her. Is it a lot of pressure to fuck good? That like, is this scary? I have an answer. You got you got an answer for this? Yeah. He always got an answer, Dre. You want me to go first? Yeah. <clears throat> I think even for women, it don't. It's not about first night. I think it just depends on the person and your actual intentions. Because I feel like, obviously, I'm not in that world anymore. But, obviously. Um, at times to where, like, I was, like, some girls I ain't really care about like that. It was just a nut. So even if I nut it fast, I ain't okay. care. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't. Yeah. But if it's somebody that you try and really mess that with you or like, you trying yeah. to like or you like. Or that you've been chasing for a while. Exactly. You trying to. You know, you try to put on. Yeah. And I feel like it's the same for women. Like, if it's a nigga you don't really care about, then you probably, like, whatever. But if it's somebody that you really like, like, I don't see girls who said, I don't swallow, I don't do all this. But if it's the right dude, that football drill, they'll definitely, I'm just saying, if it's the right, we're going to call that, we're going to call him a D1 Dre. That's D1 Dre. <laughs> <laughs> no. I disagree. I feel like women, especially a lot of, well, I mean, that's my, my, my that. age group, my peers. We so big on, let me give right. you some of this pussy. Like almost like it's a, it's a dollar. It's a thing. It's a gold watch. It's a, you know, we but raised you saying thinking, you ain't giving your full effort. Fuck no. I just gave you pussy. Now, that's, that's the gift, nigga. This is the, I'm not, per, you know, what's proof on it? I'm sorry if I was going to let you go. What's proof on it? A lot of black women won't suck your dick at first. You earn that. You work up to that. And that's, I think it's a racial thing too. I feel like a white girl will suck you off on a, on a slide through. We walk to the park, we chill, we play it. You playing racquetball. A black woman, that's that dick suck part is like, you gotta get to that level. You know what I mean? And I feel like today for me, I've always been like stingy with the cat. It's just a fact. I know it's like taboo. Phelps, you know me. Mm -hmm. I'm stingy with the pussy. You feel me? And really, because I can't take it back. You know what I mean? But for me, it's like at this, I know y'all going to disagree in the comments, but for me right now, I probably would suck his dick because I feel like that ain't shit. But giving you this pussy is special. But if I suck a dick, it's a test to let you know I know how to suck dick and I like it a little bit. We did something kinky and I'm still grown with it. But I don't know if I can trust you with my vagina just yet. But I feel like with black women, they put the dick suck on a high pedestal, higher than the pussy most. Mm -hmm. And it's like, That's yo, true. you got, I know black girls say you got to be my man for me to suck your dick. I know black girls that, you know what I mean? You talking about swallowing, so coming I, all that. But you I, gorgeous, Dre, football. I guess, da -da -da. I guess on average what you're saying is right. But I, through my 29 years of life, one thing I learned is that women have rules, but it's like one or two or three niggas out there that they'll break all their rules you for. So right. I, that's what I'm saying. Matthew Mahoney. <laughs> I was going to say. All this stuff you saying you wouldn't do, it's, it's, it's some niggas out there that you the, would do it. I'm getting nasty for Leroy. Black I, women, for I will say, like when I have an experience with them, <laughs> If they on that type time, I, yeah. I won't even ask, but I will say, I do notice if she won't suck I my dick know. first, she'll suck it after, after I done bust her down. Like, all right, this nigga, you feel me? As far as another day or that day? No, that day. Okay. Oh, that, that, that day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but the, the pressure thing <laughs> for the enemy. It's definitely my bad. It's definitely pressure in in there, but I, me, per, I got to probably the last three or four years where I take the pressure off myself like listen here cause niggas be we not going to, nah I tell her I, I you, it, so y'all don't I, rub one out first I have rubbed one but I'm past that you feel me a I, long, long time y'all gotta see Dre ago. faces twisted the fuck up we a long that. time listen, ago that's I'm like a young nigga boy shit because first of all this is where niggas kind of fuck up. It's like, dog, if John say she about to give you the pussy anyway, just keep it a bean. This is the thing. I don't, niggas try to, I feel like we try to one up the woman. And when she say, I'm going to do this, nigga, go, well, I'm going a, I'm to a bust it. I'm like, oh, you going to do that? Well, you know, I'm going to be dead in two and a half minutes, right? First round. Phelps, not many people going to say that to the girl. Because you trying to win her over, Phelps, realistically. No, nah, this motherfucker work. 
But yeah, I'm I, a always human. Thought, I always thought it was weird you when niggas be said? like, I'm I don't come. Being. I'm like, yeah, that, that ain't like. What are you on purpose at? Did you hear what he said? <laughs> I'm a human yeah, being. All right. but that but the thing is, I know me though. I gotta that gotta get out the way anyway. The, the, you feel me? Just to let everybody know, listening. We hate that. We hate the whole what I'm gonna do to this pussy when nah, I get there. We hate it. I might. Fold. I was just talking to a guy. I thought I liked him. Thought he liked me. He was nice. Whatever. We were going to meet up in Atlanta. I had all my niggas with me. <laughs> I'm like, well, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna just do the crew. But look at Dre. You wasn't bringing a nigga around me. Yes, I was. And um, I didn't have y'all with a couple of niggas. Y'all know that. Uh, get remember nigga bought us breakfast. <laughs> Cause Dre gonna still pull out his card. Like, put your card away. Uh, oh, yeah. wait, wait, wait. But no, I listen. Because I'm, I'm going to speak on something you done, too. Okay. You and these niggas. Go ahead. Don't. You shut the fuck up about my niggas. Mm -hmm. Say that off of the mic. Cut his mic. When, um... You shut the fuck up about whatever. I can see you thinking in that thing. I can see how your brain's going. Shut your mouth. It's an overall message. It ain't, it ain't directed at nobody. But then say it after I say this so they don't all make it assume the overall message was really at me. When, um... Let's just cut the show. Get it out of here. I don't trust what he's going to say. Blur out whatever this nigga says. Just blur him <laughs> incomplete. Blur him. The people want to hear it. Um, when I was single, I just like to, of course, like I said, again, I'm not in this course, world nigga, don't make anymore. another disclaimer, Dre. <laughs> just right across the bottom of the goddamn screen. Married ass nigga. But I, the sex is more enjoyable when, for me, is when oh, the woman is having a great time as well. So you're a pleaser, basically. I am, and then I I, I like to get the full experience. That's I probably think why you were I a don't. If I was just a guest. I wouldn't think that. I like to get a full experience too. So I, that's why I'm very particular about who I would have sex with. Right, 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 right. Because like, right, like you're not gonna eat everybody cat. So you want to fuck somebody that you're comfortable with eating the pussy. I read right through that. Exactly. Um, what I was going to say was just in general, and definitely for me. And I was talking about the guy that I, that guy I was talking to, or whatever. That whole, we're fucking when you get here, blew me. Now, if I would have got there, yo, ladies, how many times have you been with a guy or has it ever happened to you where you're pulling your panties off thinking, I wonder how, I want you all wondering how I got into this position. You know what I mean? Right. With the little beat in the background. Because he didn't do whatever he did and your plan was never, you ain't even shade a cat to make That's sure like, no, I'm really. not going to be comfortable enough to pull this man and that motherfucker got you and that <laughs> pussy. You and that motherfucker said, I didn't worry about that Gucci and gave it to him. That's what we want. That's what we like. Do not call, text, Morris Cole, email, tell your brother about what you're going to do to this cat before you get it. It's a fucking turn off in almost every motherfucking time. Y'all can't seal the deal. You didn't promise me 30 minutes and gave me three. God damn it, I ought to call your father. Mm -hmm. If you knew who he was, you sack of shit. All of y'all, <laughs> all of y'all that talk about that dick, it ain't shit. And some of you niggas know how to manipulate them dick pics. You got that bitch propped up on a stand. Uh -huh. You got that semi hard. Dick like this in a picture, like this in real life. It's just saying it's hard, but it ain't hard. <laughs> and just to let you know, fellas, my brothers, I love y'all. When you get to that point, when that motherfucker get the, it's time to settle down. Cause only your wife can appreciate that kind of dick. Oh. We don't want that shit. Twizzler dick, no. look hard, but it's soft. I mean, it's a little bit hard, a little bit soft, and then it's like, oh, keep one off, stop moving, stop moving. No, this motherfucker ain't standing up. Yeah, I ain't there yet. Getting awkward in here, awkward. Um, like I was, you feel me, trying to say for this nigga, he's trying to cut me off. Oh, it's right, it's time Perfect to go. Time. <laughs> Listen, man, it's when it come to you niggas and moan the dog, cause I'll be around and I'll Did be he hearing promise he was for gonna a make an overall shit. message, right? <laughs> he lied. He's a liar. You feel me? Y'all yeah, niggas. If anything I could do is help, bro. Trying to, I hate him. I hate him what? so much. Go ahead, get your Trying lips. to trying to disregard me and be all big macho macho man because I'm dog. I let me tell y'all something. I could shut it down for any of y'all anytime, he any moment. The pussy. He's my no, 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 it's not. A, it's not. <laughs> it's not. It's not about that. That's it's, what it was given. <laughs> it's not about that. It's the truth. Dre. When we go out, these niggas be going out of their way to try to be feeling look like some over top of me, and yeah. it, it gets them nowhere. You Virgin, see what I'm saying? Like that's like that's what I'm saying. Like niggas be worried about me looking. Yes, nigga, I'm over here, mad little, five three, 130 pounds, and she no, about to is. tell me all this dumb shit that you did the whole time, like. <laughs> 
Niggas will literally like wait till he turn his back and be like, "Call me, fuck that nigga." Like niggas get like that, <laughs> and she tell on y'all every only, time. And the only guy that didn't happen much with was my ex, but he was really big and scary looking. Most any other guys happen. Like you know how corny that is. I've had niggas ball, and up, I don't, I don't the be have throw it. You know what I mean? And, All they, and they say my name, and That's it's like, wild. bro, I, it's just different now because. I'm famous. So it's not, at least back then it was yeah. like, damn, at least I know he think I'm cute. Yeah. Now I don't know if he want to repost. Like, I don't know yeah. what it is. He got a car wash. And I'll be get cheering you niggas on. No, he don't. You have never in your fucking life told me, give him a break or he's a nice guy or most of the time you yes, tell I me. Yes, I have. For two doing shoe. Okay, mm. maybe for two doing shit. The, the but coolest. no, but no, but you, but you're not like you cool with it, but you're not like do it. Like yes, I, what? you might make like an excuse for him and his behavior, or like give me another way to look at it. But I don't consider. Listen, I'm, don't get mad, but I'm I don't consider that you championing for him. Cause trust the, what did I say to you the other day? I'm like, yo, why you don't hook me up with nobody? <laughs> Sit the fuck down. Oh my god! Oh my god! I didn't. Now, that's I'm champion. Yes. That's champion. No, you think that's champion for him? That's off the glass. That's not uh, birthday. Being against what you got going on, against. and I, I didn't say that. It seems like in support of what you got going on. Right, but sure. I, I, he's never against anything. Felt, listen, felt you don't too, feel like that's in support of no, what? like that's just being a real nigga. You know what I mean? Like, and I would do the shoe on the foot. Literally, I could have got a mansion. And I would have made sure that if somebody came through, got that. Even if I had to sleep outside on it. Like, I wouldn't have been uncomfortable. But if I had to sleep outside on the outside couch, like I did there because I was fucking roasted. But I would do that because that's like, yeah, do that. But I mean, like, verbally. Listen, you. this is this why we always... You're thinking opposite. I'm talking about convo. That's what I'm thinking. Like, I'm not thinking of, like, action-wise. Because yeah. that's case, yeah. You drive me over there. All kind of shit. Yeah. I'm thinking like in my like when you because that's what's important to me. We I'm a girl. Women, it's the words that matter. Like you saying da 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 with him will probably get somebody attention. Little do you know because you're my male friend, so your opinion matters. Now, you know, but that's what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about talking. But yeah, I guess I now, mean I agree with you. You feel me? He's still out of everybody. You can't. Even, he watched this motherfucker too. I know. The All thing right. is, is motherfucker. This is crazy. You Why are we yeah, here? Right. It's his fault. It's his fault every fucking time. Either way, <laughs> dark side of the gym. E either way, just you're done. Just to wrap this you're up, you're dead. You it's wrapped. You don't bring up no nigga that make me want to be like, oh yeah. You see what I'm saying? You don't show me no positive brothers. Have, that's bro. So that should be proof that the fucking dating pool got pissing it and doo doo. Because what the fuck? Why wouldn't I? There's none. Right. Everybody on the same shit. Everybody dumb trifling. All right, come on, let's go real quick. Um, listen, I manifest in the dating pool having chlorine in it and um, me finding a good man that Phelps approves of. <laughs> of course. I'm also manifesting that bitches know their place and stop being nasty, screaming, ghetto ass, trifling ass bitches. You think I'll approve of them? Uh, God, I would never tell you about nobody. I don't have nobody <laughs> for you, yeah. but the day I do, you won't know because I'm going to call you specifically. But fuck no. Hell no. I want no, y'all right? to know out there, I'm Hell not, no. I'm not the hate actually, male friend. If it was a, Phelps is not a hater, y'all. Keep that. That's not the male friend. That, not at all. Bro. Listen, if it was a guy, I thought he was a nice guy, and he was a criminal, and I told you about him, but he treated me like he was a nice guy, would you approve of him? Yeah. That's okay. his past. Well, yeah, whatever. I still haven't even found you that. You my friend. <laughs> I don't know if you've been like, yo, you need to be aware of that shit, bro. We got shit going on. You talking oh, about getting trouble with that about... nigga. Yeah, shit. put him in that way. Uh, what's his face, man? Is this what I'm saying? So you ain't even that. You talking about somebody Stop who's active? People, nigga, because I don't know. We end up giving it up. <laughs> Tell me later. What? You talking about somebody who active in it, or somebody who used active to... in it, like in the streets? Like when you say, "What does he do?" Because you want to ask when I tell you, and I say, "Oh, he does construction." Mm. Which is cold word for he sell a lot of drugs. Well, I, I say this, I, I'll be able to help. I would say you shouldn't get mixed that. up in that. Listen, anybody listening, stop DMing me. I don't like none of y'all. If you really like me, buy me breakfast, buy me lunch. Or like I told Dre, book me, send me $5,000 and you think I'm doing a comedy show the whole time you really like me. That's perfect. I'll probably do it to you that first day. Right? Dre, Either way, y'all niggas is not player. <laughs> Go home and work on it. Talk to yourself. Dark Saturday. DMs. 
Okay, boom. Hey, Mon, I love you and the whole team. Getting straight to the point. I need your advice. I've been talking to this guy for a while and everything is great. He literally checks off all the boxes when it comes to what I want in a man. He takes care of everything financially, which is something I've never had before, but we finally decided to have sex and sis. It is small. I know what you're <laughs> going to say. You don't like big dicks and neither do I. I love that you know me, girl. I love you too. I know that what you're going to say. You don't like big, do- big dicks and-, and neither do I, but... I don't even think he's six inches, no length, no width, just small. He was sweating and pounding. I didn't feel a thing. I'm so disappointed, <laughs> but I don't want to be mean. I think he's already insecure about it. He's expressed no woman has ever been faithful to him, and I think that's why. Sex is important to me, but I know it's not everything. What advice do you have? Leave. Yeah. Tonight. Sex is important. It's keywords. When I go through these things, I know I play with y'all a lot. It's keywords. A lot of times, I love y'all so much, my cousins. Y'all just like me. It's a bunch of shit going on. You can't keep it straight. You got kids. You got all this. You got goals, the bills. Your daddy wasn't there. You know, you already know what you want to do. You're asking me because you want me to tell you what you already know. You just need somebody to tell you. And for some reason, the fact that I got on lip Get gloss out. makes me a professional. Get out of sex here. is important to me. Those are the key words. So if sex is important to you, how can you ignore this big ass monkey in the room? Also, he's never had a successful relationship because he's always been cheated on. He's jaded. He's hurt. He is going to think you're cheating even when you're not. And guess what? You're going to cheat. You're going to cheat. I had the perfect situation and the sex wasn't right. And I cheated. I didn't even mean to. I did a little bit, but I didn't. You know what I mean? It's like, what are you supposed to do? You get that little itch. You gonna pat it and you gonna scratch the motherfucker. Okay? You gonna get tired of playing with that cat. Girl, you fuck around, fuck the neighbor by mistake. Oh, you wear the motherfucking tight ass maintenance man pants. You tell him come in here because your AC ain't working. Boom, bam, you bent over the goddamn coffee table. Now when you bring small dick his plate, all you can think of is your head hitting the wall with your knee <laughs> on the coffee table and you got your ass busted by the goddamn maintenance man. I wonder how long they've been in In here, cornball. So every time he see both of y'all, he go, hey, how y'all? It's unfortunate where I hear these stories. Honestly, though. There's nothing he could do. I love small dicks, but the skinny dick, n- no. do it. Hate it. First of all, it's painful. They got them skinny, small dicks. They get the pound and pound. You feeling every little bone in their body. And there's a lot of rubber and friction. Then you get to think about it. The coochie just dry up. Ooh, goddamn, it started forest fire. Only way to prevent forest fire is to get you a nigga with some girth. Don't you put yourself in that situation. You deserve more. You've been through a lot in your life. Get you somebody with some dick. I like small dicks, but you have to have shape. You know what I mean? I'm a thick, not crazy, fat, double, triple sausage, but a nice size. Six inch or seven inches is perfect for me. Boom, so, man. what's your mindset as a woman? And guess what, Dre? I'm a hoop and holler regardless. That's but what I'm about to ask. If you got six inch dick, a ten inch dick, ha, ah, who, ha, ah, who? You know my favorite thing? <laughs> Listen to this one, guys. I take my hands and take my two thumbs right here, and I push back on the pelvic area like, oh, I can't take. It. Oh my god, I can't take it. Can't take it. I be taking it. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I, I look at them, their little dreams I'm going down. So I hate all that extraness. I'm like, shut the fuck up. Like, who would fuck them <laughs> twice? <laughs> like, what the fuck? One time I did, Smack I will say this back one time, too. Um, my first adult boyfriend, we were having sex and I'm making all this noise. And then at one point he goes, my dick's not even inside of you. And I was like, <laughs> got him. All right, we out. I love y'all we so no much. Voice, no voicemail? We fuck the voicemail. Bro. My bad. I'm just trying to follow the structure oh, of the Mr. show, big dog. Let, let, I want y'all to know how hard, first of all, you know how people go through alcohol, alcoholism this. and then the family has to go to counseling because the motherfucker that was the drunk in the family fucked everybody else in the family up because they were trying to help him, him out. That's how it is dealing with a contrarian. I need to be like, you know how they be like, if you ever use Johnson Johnson powder, please call um, Shizeki and Shizeki's lost up food because we got a big suit. That's how it feels. Class action. Perfect example. Last week, he rushed me. I took too long. It was too late. He was tired and all that. He rushed me. This week, get the voicemail done, bitch. On top of the fact of him owning the pussy and letting me know who I can get a coochie to. That's my life, dealing with Phelps. Look at him. That's a fact. He's a... <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much. I love, love you, so you too, big much. dog. My nigga, right? He loves me so much. When I look pretty, he tells me. Yes, I mean, Phelps are going to end up together, but. I think at this point, we might argue on this motherfucker more in real life. We do. Damn, we, we saved might. the arguments for y'all. Y'all lucky. But guess what, though? 
if it came down <laughs> to it, if it came down to it, and this this was fucking with us, would you quit this? What you mean? Like too slow. Take yes, motherfucker. Even if it's a lie, I don't because I'm you talking about stuff that I can't fathom. If me, oh, you feel you me? So, oh my god, fellas, all my niggas let me but know. I, all my niggas love me, and I love all my niggas except Derek. Hmm. <laughs> Dang, Derek's a dumbass, conehead ass dummy. Wow. Fuck don't do dummy. that because now the fans is going to be fuck fuck Derek right now. Derek oh yeah, we had a great time. Switch was supposed to come here, but he didn't. We didn't make it to the Titanic Museum. We're supposed to be going next week because I DM'd him. They didn't even be back. <laughs> Yo, she DM'd the Titanic. Talk about how they DM'd her back. Hey, Moan. I said, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> they call me Mona. <laughs> like, yo, what? I got the weirdest fans, baby. So yeah, we're gonna go in there on some VIP shit. We could do the voicemail over real quick because I love y'all. And God damn it, Lord knows y'all ain't gonna let me get off. Um, but I gotta go. Please keep the voicemails Look, under. Last a week when I drove, I had the same energy. You said keep it now, in. Under no, I'm telling people to keep their voicemails uh, under a minute. People Imagine be sending three minutes. This week, this nigga sure. drove. You see, you urge you to get out of here. You feel me? That's all. all right, hey, Demona, I need your help. So my side nigga basically got real quick off rip. Any joints that sound fake, we ain't doing it. I'm not that. You know what I mean? I'm not. And me and Dre are a little different. And my fake meter is different than Dre's. So if Dre get through Dre and come to me, I'm not doing that. 2023. We're not listening to your made up ass story. So you can go, bitchy, listen to it on the pod, bitch. Like that's what the highlight of your week was. Stop it. Like a new bitch, and I don't care. Like I really don't. I'm happy for him. Like I missed it. Basically, got like a new bitch. Okay, and I don't care. Like I really don't. I'm happy for him. Like we have that type of relationship where like you get someone that's fine. I got someone. But now that he got a girl, he he want to act like he he don't know who the fuck I am. He be ignoring my calls. He he don't you know he don't be fucking with me. So now, like he he hit me up or whatever. Like recently, after not talking to me for a long time, and he recently just hit me up, and I feel some type of way. You so I need your help. Should I let this big nigga back in my life, or just? Are you black, bitch? Because I can't tell by this voice. You better not be dropping that <laughs> M bomb, Mary Lou. Don't fuck <laughs> around, bitch. For real, we don't play that shit over here. Don't call me white girl podcast. No, you can't say it. Don't give a fuck who you with me. Yo, don't you listen to, funny. motherfucker? Watch your mouth. Um. You're a hater. Um, at the end of the day, like literally, like, and I had a side nigga that would lie about his girlfriend, which was so annoying. I'm just, if my side nigga gets somebody pregnant, I fall back. If my side nigga gets a new relationship, I fall back. He's not answering my calls because you calling crazy. You call him yeah. more than normal because you know you got a girl. I'm talking about you ain't minded. You do mind it. She mad. She decides joint now. Women is creative. <laughs> Women, not creative. But we are creative. Women are competitive. I, this is the best advice I've ever given to somebody. When you get into a situation with a nigga, right? Let's say y'all been fucking with each other. It's going down. You don't really like him. You don't fuck with him like that. He get to cheating. Mm. The way you find out, she called. Or she put a, a, a post up. Mm-hmm. Tagging your motherfucker. You know, not tagging, but tagging you, mm-hmm. right? You don't even like this nigga. You was looking for an out. You don't want to fuck with him. I see it over and over and over. That shit would make this bitch go right back like they first started. Because she's competing with her. God forbid I got on Bottega's. This bitch got on Rainbow. My ass is fat. This bitch ass is flat, right? We straight get on that. And I tell women all the time, you in a fucking race, right? And the prize is a bag of shit. A hot. Mm-hmm. A hot even bag of shit. That's what the race is for. And the whole time in the middle, he's loving it. Happens all the time. Remember, like, what am I competing for? Do I really want him? Or do this got something to do with her? Mm-hmm. That's how that shit turned. That's how I go. I've seen girls even end up fucking each other. I kid you not. That's all. I seen girls. <laughs> I seen girls be both niggas and go through it with the bitch to the point they end up bumping cats. No bullshit. And it be like that. A lot of times we go into competitive mode, and that's just what it is. Men aren't like that. I have seen men like that, and I had a nigga like that where I had him comparing himself to another nigga and all that. But once you get to that point, you fried. It's yeah. over. If it's a difference if the side nigga is your friend. You didn't say that that he was your friend. He's not. He's your side nigga that you want to be your nigga. And you thought when you broke up with your man or when he broke up with his man or when y'all had the opportunity to be single, it didn't happen. But he did choose. He ain't choose you because these niggas is choosing. Stop being a hater, Rebecca Sue. And watch your motherfucking mouth or I put soap in it, <laughs> bitch. Love y'all. Peace.
Watch this bitch come back and say, I'm black. Look at the... Blah, blah, blah. Wait a minute, sidebar. Remember the girl that called in? And we kept calling... Me and you dog. I called her a hater and all that because she was mad that the nigga had a new bitch. And remember? Louisiana? She Speaking wrote me mind. again. She did not like our responses. <laughs> I put in a few messages. I love y'all. We out.